Okay, this is just a short video, basically so I don't have to keep uh, answering so many emails. Um, you know, the Robot Hut has had visitors for over 22 years, so there's been thousands of people that have come through here and know where I'm located and all that. But uh, some of you may not. But if you've been watching the news at all, local or national, you would know that there have been uh, wildfires in eastern Washington, specifically close to Spokane, Washington. And uh, I live in Elk, which is in Spokane County. And the two main fires here, there was one out at Medical Lake, which they like to confuse people, so now they call that the Gray Fire. And then uh, there's been the one that was in Elk, which happened off of uh, or East Oregon Road, so some of the news reports call it the Oregon Road fire, some of them call it the Elk fire, uh, some of them shorten it down and just call it the Oregon fire, which really confuses people because then they think they're talking about the state of Oregon. But um, basically, last Friday, that would be uh, August the 18th in the afternoon, there was a fire. I'm going to get up here where I can point and show you more. Uh, this is the riding arena where normally we have the horses work out and that kind of stuff. But you can see right now it's full of vehicles that we knew we wouldn't be able to move if we had to get the heck out of here in a hurry. So we parked them there because that's all sand. It's not going to burn. And this uh, dry grass type stuff would burn really quickly. So probably wouldn't interfere with them. Um, we just got today, this is uh, Tuesday morning, a little bit of the rain, not much, that was left over from the California storm finally blew up this way and moistened things down, which is good. Okay, hey, here comes Stinky. What are you doing? So, clear over there on the other side of those trees, see Oregon Road stops, um, East Oregon Road stops right up there. But then over on the other side of those trees, of course, it starts up again. And then uh, further over that way is where the fire started Friday afternoon, early in the afternoon. And Friday there was a very strong wind. That's due north, so that's east. The wind was very strong from the north and a little bit from the west. So the fire being there was being pushed this way really rapidly and because of the little bit of west wind it was being blown away from our property so we didn't we didn't burn that day but it, uh, the winds were 30 to 40 miles an hour continuous it was really moving so the fire moved really quickly i'd say in an hour or less it went from being there to where we could see the smoke being clear over there and that's a lot of miles when you consider how far away that is since then, it's uh, burned over 10,000 acres. It's uh, burned, I think, uh, they said 100 uh, dwellings or buildings, and there's been one death. Uh, the Medical Lake one is about the same thing. It's a little over 10,000 acres, one death. But the difference between the Medical Lake, the Gray Fire, they call it, and uh, this fire is the population density. See out here, this is farmland, and uh, you can't own less than 10 acres, and most of the people out here own hundreds. It's in the hundreds of acres. So the population density, we can see our few handfuls of neighbors, is much lower. So the, they worked really hard on the uh, Gray Fire one, and it's the one that's made the news. Also being clear out at Medical Lake, which is uh, west of Spokane, it uh, could cross over the freeway, and it did, which closed uh, I-90 for a while. So it, it was the headliner on the news, and you've heard it in all your national news. And, and usually they would follow up talking about it with, and the fire in Elk, and the fire in Elk was just as big. Uh, burned about half as many buildings, still had one death. And as of today, well, I haven't heard the news since the little bit of rain came this morning. But uh, before that, as of this morning, it was still 100% uncontained. They hadn't contained it at all. Whereas the Medical Lake one, Gray Fire, was 25 or 30% contained. Now I'm hoping that uh, all of this wet weather has helped the firefighters a lot 
in containing it. And I think it must have done some good because I haven't heard any of the, uh, the water planes. Of course, you know, we'd be hearing the planes flying like crazy and uh, putting everything out. So the main purpose of this video is just to tell you guys, obviously, I'm still alive. The robot hut is still here and fine, even though this was a close call. And uh, it's not over yet because this one, one damp day is going to be over by uh, dinner time tonight. And after that, it's going to heat back up again. We've been in the 90s and uh, triple digits for six weeks at least. And it's going to be right back up there in the next couple of days, back up in the upper 90s. So it's nice to have this one cool day. It was nice to get just a little bit of moisture on the ground because I'm sure that helped. And it's also nice that if you, you notice you're not hearing any wind in the microphone, it's not blowing. So it's going to make it a lot easier for the firefighters to go out there and uh, do their job in trying to put everything, you know, knock everything down and maybe uh, get down in control. See, one of the big problems with uh, the one out in the Elk is that it's, they can't get the heavy equipment into a lot of the areas because there are a lot of hills and valleys. It's not all flat like we are right here in this one little piece. So it all has to be um, fought by bodies on the ground, boots on the ground. And uh, it was so smoky, there was so much smoke from the Canada fires blowing in when the wind was coming from the north, because that's Canada, that they couldn't fly the planes because they can't see. And, uh, you know, the air quality monitor system only goes up to a 500 index. Well, we were pegged, <laughs> pegged past 500 there for quite a few days. And um, this moisture has helped clean some of that out. Although all of this gray you see, those aren't rain clouds. And you can't see the sun, even though it's early afternoon. That's smoke. <laughs> so the smoke is still, still here, not just the smoke from our fire but um, mostly still smoke from the Canada fires. Um, so there you can see this is, uh, this is East Oregon Road running right along there and right up along there it ends here. Starts again a couple about two more miles over on the side of all of those far trees. Starts up again and uh, apparently right over back up in there is where the fire was started, of course by humans. There uh, wasn't any lightning or thunder or anything that day. Somebody was burning and it got out of control, which is uh, what things like to do. But um, just an update, let you know I'm fine. And uh, we're hoping that this wet weather lets them get in our control so everything can get back to normal because we've had to be ready to roll out of here at a moment's notice, which you know means loading up uh, dogs, cats, horses, chickens if possible, and even pigs if possible. And uh, we had the arena with some of our items that needed to be, would be nice to save, but also neighbors can bring things over and park it up there if it looks like we have to evac in a hurry. But right now I'm, I'm thinking this, this maybe gives them a chance to get a heads up on the whole thing. Maybe. We'll know in the next couple of days. And uh, that's it for now.